Hello guys, welcome to Life with the Steps. It is day 20. We are in the 20s, which means we are getting so close to Christmas. What is it? Thursday's Christmas Eve, Friday is Christmas Day. Wow. Everybody knows you're the star of the show. Okay. So what are we doing today, Steph? Um, so today we're gonna give come to you with 11 quarantine Christmas. Yeah, we have 11. What a fun number. Isn't it? I should have done 20 because it's day 20. <laughs> or like 10 or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> today we are doing 11 quarantine Christmas bucket list ideas that you can do over the Christmas break because I don't know about in the US, but I know a lot of Canada is on Christmas break or whatever this Christmas break is this year um, and people are gonna be wondering what they should do. I mean me and Stefan we have a list of ideas of what we can do and we want to give that to other people because we've been having a pretty grand time before Christmas break so I don't know if we're gonna have anything to do. Yeah I think we've already done some of the things on the list which is good but... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay Miss Shark can you go lie down? Go lie down please! We would love to have you guys join the Steph clan and if you'd like to do, go do that, don't forget to turn on your notification settings, comment and subscribe and like and that was totally in the wrong order but you get what I mean. Go subscribe to our channel. We have a quarantine Christmas bucket list and we're gonna go right into it, <laughs> okay? So the first thing I have on the Christmas bucket list is cook, like do some cooking or do some baking. It's super fun, it's super easy and honestly you can spend a whole day doing it. Not free, but really cheap. Like those cookies yes. I made a couple videos ago, two bucks. Yeah, and the package I got was five dollars. So on top of that I could say like you could cook, bake and you could do decorating of baking. Super fun, super quick. It's worth it. And it's so tasty at the end. Number two, I think we tried doing this last year but we didn't have enough time. Well, little did we know, we'll have ample amounts of time this year. Do we have a table big enough? Do a puzzle. Number three, do a family or couples challenge. Now, what I mean by this is me and Savannah, we like doing like lots of challenges. So there's like minute to win it challenge. And you could go as simple as even getting like little kids involved in doing like a outdoor challenge of who can build the biggest snow hill and whose sled can go down the fastest on the biggest snow hill. Like it's so simple and you can do so many things. Me and Steph did this next one. Yeah. Number four. Last night we had a family movie night. And this one can be done many times. Yes. And it will be done many times. Many times. I'm sure everybody's already doing this one. And honestly, I, I say this in like the most sincere way that not everybody has Netflix, Disney Plus, and Prime and all that. So many movies are on TV nowadays. Um, you just go onto any channel and there's a Christmas movie on right now. Go to a drive-by light show or drive around your neighborhood and look at different like light displays on houses. And I know me and Stefan, we live in a small town, so they don't really have any light shows here, but like an hour out where I'm from, they have like this huge light show um, and you just drive in with your car. It's about 25 bucks, so it's not the cheapest, but for if you have like a it's whole family, bad. it's not too bad. Hmm. Um, the waits can be long though, because we're in quarantine, right? So there's nothing really else for other people to do, which is why I say, just drive around your neighborhood. Some, a lot more people have lights We're up. We're going tomorrow. Year. Yeah, I actually asked Stefan if we could do this tomorrow because a lot more people have lights up. And it's just nice to yeah. see displays like other than your own house. Next, we got build a snowman or fort. And I don't have enough snow in my yard yet for this, but yeah, I we should try and build a little, little something. Okay. We were gonna try to build a snowman, but surprisingly we haven't had like any snow for living where we are. Normally our snow Super is like surprising. higher than you can see my arm right now. And I guess now it that- It was I plus three today and it was melting. We had a little bit two days ago and it's melting again, so. Yeah, it's not here to stay. Not great. I noticed that we have a lot of American subscribers and I know in a lot of states in the US you guys don't get snow. So in that aspect, me and Savannah spent our time doing this this summer. You can go kill the ant hills. You can go get some ant kill stuff and just spray them. Gone. It's a really fun. We actually did it for hours. It was expensive. <laughs> it was expensive, but it was worth it. It was fun. Because we just had these little- Why is it so fun? Why are we so twisted? Our like neighbor, that? who's like an old man, actually was watching us from his backyard. He's like, what you guys up to? Because we were like laughing. He's like, ah, we'll never get him. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that's where they're all coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Start a YouTube channel. I say this because it is like fun and you can just do it to waste some time. Um, it's not always the cheapest, but it also doesn't have to be expensive. You can tape on your phone and upload right onto YouTube. I'll watch you. Let me know if you start a channel because we would watch you. Oh, yeah. um, I think it takes up a lot of time for us and it gets our day gone. So. Oh, it definitely does. Yeah. All right. Next, we got make a Christmas craft or uh, just with whatever you got lying around. We have made some in the past video, which is some floor stuff from our backyard and I'm super lucky to have a yard where I can grab stuff from and stuff and I go to the bush all the time so I'm always looking for little stuff but I think just make a little Christmas crap with whatever you got lying around and find some inspiration on Pinterest and you'll be surprised at what you can make probably because I think ours turned out all right compared to my super artist fun. skills. <laughs> I like to. Yeah. No, well, you, yours is always going to be good. But. No way, you're too kind. Well, what? <laughs> I think the other thing that, like he said, whatever you find, because I don't think we spent, like, any money. Maybe, like, $10. Like we said in the video, you went to your room, you grabbed an old sock for the tape, yeah. threw it on there, it looks great. <laughs> Go for a walk in, like, a secluded area. It's, like, very, like, healing, and it's a big self-care thing to just go out into nature and just go do whatever you can. And I say secluded area because I don't really know what the rules are in, in like the states and the rest of the provinces in Canada, but I know that even when we are outside, we cannot be around other people. That's right, right? So, yeah. and you can go for a walk at like even a park. Even the girl on the news, she was saying, she's like the public health somebody. And she's like, I might go on distance walks. Yeah. Well, with, yeah. Oh, well like I, I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not going to suggest you do anything with friends and family because I don't want people to come at me um, and it's actually legal here. But like if you're with your boyfriend or something or whoever you live with, it's okay to go for with a walk. With the cohorts. Yeah. Yeah. Next one hasn't happened yet. Steph, I'm going to whoop your butt at some games. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. As we told you in previous videos, we get very competitive at game night. Our dog's back, which means we're gonna have to wrap it up soon, but I have one more. And my last um, idea is just take time for yourself. If that means like take a bath, chill on the couch, read a book, do journaling. I know Stefan really sometimes just likes to hang out on the couch and play like his PlayStation with his friends. And like, it's just whatever makes you feel the least stressed and helps you relax, do it. Because I think in a time like this, I think everybody's so overstressed and I think nobody is gonna judge you if you take an hour out of your day to just do you and it doesn't matter what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do to just regroup and be able to go on with the rest of the day. Those are our 11 or 12 or 13 or 10. I think we stopped counting halfway through. <laughs> yeah. But that was 11 things. <laughs> uh, that you can do during your quarantine Christmas break because we're all dealing with it. Don't even try to tell me you're not dealing with it because if you're not, that means you're breaking the rules and you should not do that. <laughs> um, stay safe, stay healthy, and have the most amazing Christmas. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye guys. Max, do you want to say bye? <gasps> oh. <laughs>